Okay, this is uh, Sunday the 26th, and I'm just finishing up the lower bevel. This, this is the 1 and 1 8 inch bevel, and as you can see, I don't know, it's pretty hard to see it here, but this uh, surface right down here, it's, it's an eighth of an inch thick still here. So what I do is just draw, you know, take my little thing and draw a pencil line down the edge of the board. And then uh, I've been, I've take my, my trusty, you know, hand tools, that's what they call them. Uh, this gets about 80% of the wood off of the bevel for me. But I also, you know, I draw a, li a line down here to make sure that I don't get carried away on the lower edge as well. Uh, see if I can find my little doodad. Okay. I made up this little thing here, which has got a piece of wood that's got another piece of wood on it that's one eighth of an inch thick. And, and I, all I do is put it up against this surface and draw a line. And then as I'm beveling, I actually run this along here to make sure that that I'm right even with the surface on the edge of this little tool here. You know, little little things like that really are time saving. And uh, and of course, uh, starting 18 inches from the end, I start the gain on the bevel from an eighth of an inch down to just below a sixteenth of an inch down to the other end and do it at both ends and uh, again uh, you know the things are you know I use after I use the power plane I use this to take a lot of the other wood off and uh, it, it's set to to do just that it's uh, it's got a good sharp blade on it and and I get probably within 95 percent of where I want to be with that and then I go with this spoke shave, and and you know let me keep it sharp and, and thin. You know, you can you can make sure that this surface is going to be nice and flat, and, and it, that it you know as you can see it just taking I'm, I'm taking off just a hair at a time, but making sure that I'm just barely taking away the pencil mark here at the top edge and staying true with the line I drew on the bottom edge as I go and dragging it down. I mean, it's, it's a lot of hand work, but it's still, you know, it makes it worthwhile. And I've done the same basically on the bottom bevel here that we talked on, on our earlier uh, thing. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out in the yard and sand it. And because uh, I don't want to have to be sanding wood after the boat's been built, I mean, and, and, and to any great extent. I want to get the heavy duty sanding done before I put the planks on. And uh, so, anyhow, I just, and, and I, as I said in the earlier one, the plank does fit where I wanted it to fit now. And, uh, and then, of course, the next thing is going to be to, I'll be putting adhesive, the Cicaflex on the, on the bottom edge, which is the lower edge of the, I don't know if that, you can see that down there, but anyhow, uh, I'll put a bead, you know, and it's just like a, an eighth of an inch, well, maybe a three sixteenths diameter bead that I put down the edge of there, and then I take a, a, a piece of tongue depressor and then I kind of flatten it out a little bit before I lay the plank on there to make sure I'm getting a little bit of wide area coverage with it. and. Uh, so that, that, should, that should go well. And, uh, you know, it's been a good learning process. So, uh, next thing we'll be seeing is how the progress is going with the thing I haven't really been doing much of, but I mean, I practiced a little bit on my riveting skills, but, uh, you know, this is going to be the, the, the real learning experience here is putting the copper river rivets in on, uh, on two inch centers down here, or two and a, I think we're using two and a half inch centers here. So see how that goes and uh, just onward and upward.